The first question of this exercise says, find the remainder when this polynomial is divided by all of these given linear polynomials. So this question is based on the remainder theorem and the remainder theorem says that if any polynomial px is divided by a linear polynomial and say that the linear polynomial is x minus a, then the remainder can be found simply by substituting the zero of this linear polynomial into the polynomial itself. So the zero of this linear polynomial divisor is x equal to a. And if you substitute this into the polynomial, so if you find p of a, this is what the remainder is. So this is what we are going to use for the current pro problem. So for the first part, uh, so I'm going to call this polynomial, I'm going to name it px. So px is equal to x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Now let's find the remainder when px is divided by all of these given polynomials. So when px is divided by x plus 1, the 0 of x plus 1 is x equal to minus 1. So let us find p of minus 1. So p of minus 1 will be equal to minus 1 cube plus 3 times minus 1 square plus 3 times minus 1 plus 1. And this is equal to minus 1 plus 3 times minus 1 square is 3. 3 times minus 1 is the third term is minus 3. And then plus 1 is what we have. And this whole sum is equal to 0. So when px is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is actually equal to 0, which by the way actually means that x plus 1 is a factor of px. Now let's go to the second part. In the second part, we are dividing px by x minus half. So the 0 of x minus half is x equal to half. And now we have to find p of half. So p of half will be equal to half cube plus 3 times half square plus 3 times half plus 1. So let's see what this is. In the second part, the polynomial is, the divisor polynomial is x minus half and the 0 of x minus half is x equal to half. So x equal to half is what we will substitute into px. So p of half will be equal to half cube plus 3x square. So that's 3 times half square plus 3x. So that's 3 times half plus 1. So what is this equal to? So half cube is 1 by 8. 3 times half square is 3 by 4. Then 3 times half is 3 by 2. And then we have a plus 1. So I can take an LCM of 8 to add all the terms. So I have 1 plus 3 times 2. So that's 6 plus this 3 will be become multiplied by 4. So that's 12 plus this one will become multiplied by 8. So I have 1 plus 6. That's 7. 7 plus 12 is 19 and 19 plus 8 is 27. So p of half is equal to 27 by 8. So this is the remainder when px is divided by x minus half. Now let's go to the third part. In the third part, the divisor polynomial is x and the 0 of x, this divisor polynomial is x equal to 0. And to find the remainder when px is divided by x, we'll have to sub, we'll have to find p of 0. So p of 0 will be simply 0 cube plus 3 times 0 square plus 3 times 0 plus 1. So only the constant term will remain. So when px is divided by x, the remainder is 1. In fact, if you look at the polynomial itself, the polynomial is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. So if I take out an x common from the first three terms, that will give me x times x square plus 3x plus 3. And then I have a plus 1 term. So just by looking at this uh, this expression for px, we can see that 
if px is divided by x then what remains is 1 okay now let's go to the fourth part so the fourth part in the fourth part the divisor polynomial is x plus pi and this has a 0 of x equal to minus pi so in this case we will have to find out p of minus pi so p of minus pi will be equal to x cube so that's minus pi cube plus 3 times x square so that will be 3 times pi square plus 3x so that will be minus 3 pi because x is minus pi plus 1 and this is something which we can't simplify any further so this is what the remainder will be if we divide p x by x plus pi now let's go to the fifth part the fifth part is uh, having a divisor polynomial of 5 plus 2x so this has a 0 of x equal to minus 5 by 2 so in this case we will have to find out p of minus 5 by 2 so what is p of minus 5 by 5 by 2 so that's x cube so that's minus 125 by 8 and then we have 3 times x square so 3 times 25 by 4 so that's 75 by 4 plus 3x so that's 3 times minus 5 by 2 or that's minus 15 by 2 plus 1 so again if I take the LCM here of 8 and I have then minus 125 and then 75 multiplied by 2 so that's 150 and uh, in for the third term I multiply 15 by 4 so that's minus 60 and then the last term 1 is multiplied by 8 so I have 8 so what am I left with so minus 125 plus 150 is 25 25 minus 60 is minus 35 minus 35 plus 8 is minus 27 um, so I'm left with so this is equal to minus 27 by 8 so when p x is divided by 5 plus 2 x the remainder is minus 27 by 8 so that finishes the first question let's move on to the next part the next question to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.